Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia from Scientist Plants and in this video, as you can see here, we're gonna be talking about washi tapes. So I've been showing a bunch of different washi tapes that I use on my planners and notebooks. And today I just want to show you a part of my collection and we're gonna be reorganizing my drawer. So basically I have too many rolls of washi tape and this is not everything that I own. I have a shelf on the wall of my office that we call the washi wall. And there is still a bunch of washi tapes there, but here on my drawer, I try to keep the ones that I use the most. So on my shelf, I have like some replicates and things that are sometimes like themed that I'm not be using all the time or in every season. But I'd like to have this drawer, which is, it doesn't stay here on this desk, but it stays in the other desk on the office. And here I put the ones that I'm using the most. So I'm gonna show you what we have here. So in this first drawer, I have a kind of a neutral ones. So a lot of grids. Could I just realize I'm into grid washi and like pattern and stripes and neutral things so that I could do a layering of them. By the way, I'm gonna be showing a couple of pages of my planners to show what I do with them and maybe try to justify why I need them all <laughs> or not, but just to give you maybe ideas of how to do them. So I like these neutral ones and grid ones because you could put like one washi on top of each other. I think it looks very pretty. So this is what I put on the top just because those are the ones that I'm using the most. Here on the second drawer, I have this first two rolls are the washi tapes from the Coffee Monsters Co. And it's completely different from this one guy. You go from neutral to explosion of cuteness and colors. I love those washi tapes. If you like the washi tapes from Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co, you have to buy it when she has it, either in pre-order or whenever they are up on the website because they go, I mean, they run low really fast and they're very pretty. And I think in here, you would have the majority of them. They're just a couple from the beginning, I think, of her collection, but still, those are all here, and I have some from Simply Gilded. And the last drawer, I have only mainly washes from Simply Gilded. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of space to put all these guys here, but I am not using all the bows anymore. I love them, they are pretty, but I'm not using them as often, this is what I wanna say. So I think they have to go and then I'm gonna put them back. But before we do this, I just want to show you exactly what I mean. So this is my 2020 Hobonichi Weeks, which is already transferred to this print pressure cover, which is where I store it. And this is how much I was using my washi tapes. I would combine in the bottom part of the page and in the top part of the page. And I would sometimes follow a theme or a color combination, but I was using a lot more on the page than I am right now. I'm still using a lot of washi tapes, but not as much and not the same like type or theme or pattern. Um, yeah, so towards the middle of the year, September or so, I wanted to utilize this planner differently and to have a lot more space to write. And I started not putting washi tapes uh, on the bottom of both pages and on the top, but sometimes only in one part. Just because I still want to decorate, because I, I like to decorate. I think it looks cute. and But I just don't want it to put a, a ton in every page. Because, number one, it creates a bulk on the page. And to me, it bothers me to write later on. Um, and also because it kind of changed a little bit of the style that I, that I am enjoying. So I think I want to remove the bows, because I'm not using them as much so that I can make space for this neutral grids pattern things. This was the last week that I was in this one. It was the um, first week of December and then I moved into the new one and I'm keeping the same style for now. I mean, if I change my mind, I can reorganize them. So here I have like one with like tourist uh, things from Paris and here a simple striped. This is what I mean by over, overlaying like putting them together here's just one with letters and this one with grid and then i put a sticker on top so that's what i am into right now in the notes pages i put the same so here's just a grid with some stickers here just put a strip of tiny of washi tape oh and there is more here on the back pages i think i 
use a little more. I'm a bit more adventurous. <laughs> I put just here on the bottom and I, I in fact enjoyed putting them here on the side like that. I think it looks really cute as well. So I just, yeah, on the notes pages, I can put a little bit more because it's already on the end, but this is where I've been using them. So I just wanted to give you ideas how to use the washi tapes and things. So let's go. So how are we gonna do it? I have here this box where I'm going to put the ones that are going to be moving out of the drawer, but they are gonna be up on the shelf in the wall. And I think we'll be mailing the ones that are in the lower part. Oh, that, that's hard. I'm looking at them, but it's fine. They're not going in yet. They're just going to go on the shelf. So I'm not really using these ones. I don't think I've ever even used them. Well, this would be a good also time to reflect on if I want to give something to friends. So I'll probably give them music ones. So there is a bunch of pink flowers. Uh, I'm going to keep the coffee one and tea one, although I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea. And even I use coffee stickers sometimes. From here, I'm gonna keep the flowers. I'm removing these bowls, but I'm gonna keep this one. These guys can go too. I haven't, using, haven't used them as much, but I'm gonna keep the little bears. Okay, you guys can go here. These ones here, the truth is they look nice, okay? <laughs> they look cute when you look at the drawer like that. But I I haven't used them, so okay, you guys have to go. Let's, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so, they are living as well, all the thin washies. If I change my mind, if I feel like I need them close by, for some reason, I can put them back. But I'm not using them, so... All right, so I'm still gonna leave the box in there because not everything is gonna fit. So I think this guys, I'm gonna move to the lower thing. And I want all the grids to be on the first drawer, in fact. So whatever is not the grid, so I have the grids here. I have some extra ones in here. I think I want to create a drawer that has like some doodles and stuff like this, like drawings. So let me, so this wash is here are from Amanda H. Lee. And in fact, they came in a cute box. Oh, I don't have it here. But they came on a set. It was one doodle washi, one like glitter washi, and two patterns. Very pretty. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep one that has drawings and maybe ones for patterns. We'll see how many I have. So this is pattern. Oh yeah, there, now I'm seeing this one with the moons. I might have to do just a section for moons because my moon collection is growing. I just don't know how big it's gonna get, but let's see. So I'm gonna put the drawings aside, but I kind of like this color going on. You see, this will be, maybe this is gonna change over time, <laughs> but let's just do it. It's cats, cats, cats. Okay, let's take the animals out. We have some animals here. This is like date, so I'm gonna keep. All right, so let's go through this thing. This is like a pattern blue thing going on. This is a drawing, kind of a retro vibe. I think I have something else here. Oops, things are running away. This one is kind of a pencil, pen, fountain pen stuff. I'll leave here. Uh, okay, these guys are in fact from kind of the same thing. This sets of three, they come from Muji. But as you can see, I, I didn't use a lot the red one because I don't really like red. But now with Christmas and stuff, I do feel like using red sometimes. So I'm going to keep them here. And this washes from Muji, they are super big and they don't stay very well if we put them in the middle of these drawers. Oh, one thing. These drawers are from, this drawer is from Michael's. And you can use the um, discount that they have if you, you know, have the card, things like this. So it's pretty cool. What else in terms of patterns? So here they are. We have this grid, which is in green, black, but we don't have a space for them in here. So I'm going to put them here. Um, I kind of like that this set is in next to each other. I'm going to, I'll try not to be... 
because it would be impossible to make it perfect like all the grades in one all the yeah dots and stuff so i'm just gonna leave it this way here i have this is this kit is from michael's and i kind of i'm not into pinks and stuff but i kind of enjoy this i mean i was already winter but i think it's super good for fall and things like this so i'm not sure if i should leave it i'm not yeah maybe I'll leave it here where the other reds are okay what else do we have here there are some blue drawings things here i think i might include them all here just because i already have some blues i'll put this here this this is super pretty it's from with woven flax and in fact like different like flowers very pretty and now i made a mess <laughs> okay okay sorry i'm just gonna cut it here it is let's try not to destroy the washies here i have some flowers although i am really not a flower person but some washi tapes with flowers i do like and i have some here that were my friend deborah sent to me okay here i have this letter i think i have another letter here it's a tiny letter but like this i can find them these two are still in the plastic so those are from I don't know what store, but it was my friend Nora who just sent to me like I received her happy mail today. And I like those. Uh, okay, this is also a pattern. It goes here. There's this. Some draw. Where should go? Could go. I can go here, I think. Would it fit? Ooh, I think it's tight. Okay. I'm going to put in the back for now. All right. So it wasn't that long, right? But... I have some happy mail. I have more washies to share. And this washi tapes are from Note and Wish. I found them on Etsy. I mean, I didn't find them on Etsy. I saw them on Ellie's Corner video and the shop is on Etsy. She has some cute washies from them. And then I said, I'm going to look it up. I didn't get the one she has, but I got other ones that I really loved. So this is a kind of a celestial thing. Love it. Another great surprise. So I think I'm gonna bump this guy here and put this grid in here. Mm, doesn't seem right. What about now? Better? So I have this Celestial one. Very excited about this one. And more in here. The grid. This is a gray. Super cute. It reminds me of the blue one. Where did I put this one? I think this one needs to come here to the front. Are they gonna fit? Okay, they do for now. So there is this flower, which it's a white flower and the background seems like craft paper. Super cute. This one is another grid. And I think there is one more and another grid in a like dark gray. Okay, so now we have a problem because we are kind of full of grids. Maybe. Okay, so now is the time where we have to think what I am really using from the grid portion, or I can move some stuff in here. Uh, okay, so maybe you guys can leave this part and come to the drawing section. Good. So you guys are here. So we have space here in the back. So I think I'm going to put the letters there and we have the grids in here cool but i don't like the blue <laughs> where the blue is come here and so that i feel a little better i'm gonna put this guy in here because it has some blue in it oops okay cool so the first one is ready this one i, I kind of wanted this one in the first drawer but what should I do? Because it has flowers. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, maybe I can leave it here for now. I hope I remember. Because when something is new, I like it to be like on top so that I don't forget it exists, <laughs> basically. So I like the new ones to be close by. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna transfer this guy, which is new. 
And these are the guys. This is from Together with Kelly. This is a Canadian shop. And I got this one a lot on Black Friday. And this one from her. So this two that I want them to be here. Okay, so I am... I think I can move this one. What about you guys? I feel like I don't use this guy as much. Okay, so I can place this one here. So this. Okay. Mm, let's put it back here. That's it. There is also this little box in here, but they are super tiny. This is from Amazon. It's just a kit of neutrals. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it like on top of my drawer and something else that I'm going to be making an effort to do. And I'm doing already, although I'm not really showing here is that I will try maybe to collect a couple of them. The ones that I'm going to be using more often and place them on this tray. Ooh, I'm sorry. It's like, I didn't clean it, <laughs> place it on this tray so that I use them more. Ellie from Ellie, Ellie's Corner, she does it every month. She, when she's setting up her bujo and her cover and the kind of the theme or her, of her bullet journal, she tries to collect some washi tape so that she remembers to use them. And I think this is really great because sometimes we forget about them. Like this guy here, I bought last year. I wanna pick to show you. I got this washi tape here last year when I went to Chicago for a conference. And I visit my friend Nora and we were around shopping <laughs> and I found this and I wasn't, I almost forgot about it, but because I watched Ellie's and I said, yeah, I went through my um, shelf and I got the one that I thought would like wintery theme and so on. And I, yeah, I think it combined great with the grays and with the red anyway. So just to pass it on the inspiration that I got from Ellie to go through your collection and if you if you have a lot like we do then maybe select some so that you you keep using them you know so let's put them back so this is what I told you about the Muji's on the back they are super thick let's see if I remove them yeah you see so these guys are not gonna be able to go in that's fine I'm like this I made more space there maybe i should i could put this celestial uh, thing in there i think so okay you guys come here and you come back all right so top middle with doodles and florals go in why are they not going in is there a problem okay and I didn't really touch the last drawer. Fine. And here are the ones that are gonna move back to the shelf. And if I realize I'm not using them at all, then I'm going to send to a couple friends, do a giveaway. I'm gonna think about it. But normally I send to my friends, I send to my cousins. Um, yeah, I give to people in my lab. <laughs> Everybody get some. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.